What up guys? Uh, I just wanted to kind of show you my time in Greece. I was in Greece for about three or four months backpacking around. Um, I wanted to get some fishing while I was down there. So I decided to go to a corner shop and I picked up a small little hand line. Probably had two pound test, but by the end of my backpacking there, I worked up to a rod. So it was pretty cool to see the progression of new gear and different fish I caught. And that's all in this video. So I hope you guys like it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Woo! Okay, so what I'm using in the top right hand corner, you can see these are sandworms, what I'm using as bait. These guys are crazy. Um, I'm holding on to that because that was before I realized they have teeth and they bite out. I learned that and that's crazy to me. Um, over here, we caught our first fish. This, I believe, looks like a little sea bream. I'm not very good with classifying fish species just because, well, saltwater species. Um, because in Colorado, it's uh, all freshwater. This is what I decided was a snapper. Like bring this glove just because I met this kid in Greece and he, he told me a horror story of how he caught a fish and tried to take it off and it poisoned him. And it was absolutely terrible. So I decided to buy gloves so that didn't happen to me. So down here, I'm pretty sure this fish I just caught was a mullet. I'm not too sure, but yeah, it's got to be a mullet, right? But yeah, so I'm fishing in a little backwater. The ocean's right behind me, and I believe these fish got caught when it was connected to the ocean. Here, I've been fishing with just a bobber, split shot, and two hooks. I missed that fish as you can see. We'll toss it out and see if we can get him again. And this fish might be a hybrid. I mean, it looks just like a snapper, but it's got that back little uh, marking on him, so it kind of looks like a sea bream. I thought it was kind of a hybrid, but granted, I don't know that much about salt water fish, so let me know. There's a little crab I stumbled on, and yeah, it was time to change towns. What up guys? Just checked into my Airbnb. Um, we're in Tolo, Greece. I'm going to go down the harbor and start fishing a little bit. I just wanted to let you guys know that I upgraded my tackle. I went in and bought rectangular foam where I can wrap 30 pound test around. So I'm going to be targeting bigger fish and catching hogs. So uh, we'll move down to Aaliyah, but I'll upload all that video into the video as well. Yep. Here we go on the new line and reel we just hooked down to a painted comber. These guys kind of get small, they don't get very big, but still a beautiful fish. Look at the colors on them. I feel really bad about the release, but oh well. Here's a little reef fish I caught. I don't know the name of it, but still pretty cool. Another painted comber. And I'm just fishing with shrimp on the bottom. And this is a sea slug I hooked into, or I think it's sea slug, I have no idea actually. It's uh, It was crazy because it was long, pretty gross, and those are quills on it. I actually stabbed myself and it inflamed my hand, so not a good day. Uh, we moved down to Aaliyah, I went to a different part of the beach. Um, fishing kind of died down over on the harbor side. Right here, I love the new upgrade. It's way better than the smaller bit. Hopefully I'll be able to catch a bigger fish with it. Look how beautiful Greece's waters are. I mean, the best thing about fishing in Greece is just looking down. Oh, here it looks like I hooked onto a fish.
here you go. I think this is what you call a parrot fish. It's got that nice maroon color. If you look down on it though, it's got some chompers. I wasn't too sure I had to throw the glove on for this one just because the coloring on it. But definitely the biggest fish I've caught so far. And now it's about time to pack up. I think we're going to move down to a new city. Um, I think the next town we stop at should have a fishing store, so hopefully I'll get an upgrade. What up guys? Um, I just wanted to let you know I upgraded gear. I went into a fishing shop by hooks, but I talked with the guy and he decided to hook me up with a yo-yo fishing reel. Um, he gave me some hooks and line for free, which was really cool. I don't remember the name of the business, but I'll make sure to put it up here. And yeah, so I've upgraded gear and we're gonna go target some fish and hopefully with the yo-yo reel, it'll be easier, but I wanted to fill you in. So we got the yo-yo reel here. I have multiple weights hooked onto a swivel and under that I have a set of hooks. I hooked on to a pretty nice fish. This was a dusky grouper. They get way bigger than this, but pretty proud to catch one of them. I was just using one of those sandworms on the bottom. And yeah, this is the first dusky grouper I've caught. I've been pretty impressed with the whole time fishing down here just because I've caught so many different species, so it's been really cool. And the sunsets have been absolutely phenomenal. So I've been pretty excited with this trip so far. Um, I decided to upgrade at a gas station. They sold these rods, little bamboo things, and I hooked on to a little sea bream. And this I just hooked up that old line to, it's just bamboo, so it lets me kind of feel like I have a fishing pole. It's very traditional, I feel like. I feel like this whole video has kind of been traditional fishing, but yeah, it seems to work. I've caught another one of those little black fish. I don't know what they are, but still pretty cool. Here I think I just hooked on to another sea bream. Let him go. And the bobber goes down and got him. I believe this is some sort of mackerel. I'm not too sure. Get a look at him. I know this fish flailed like no other. Every fish I caught that was like that was absolutely terrible to hold on to just because they panicked so much. But Here we go. Let's see what we got. And another little mackerel thing. I don't know if these are edible. I feel like some people might eat them. But I don't know. Pretty nice mackerel if that's what it is. See a little guy? Yeah, I started, I must have got into a school of these because I started catching these guys left, front, and center. And that hole behind there was more a eel. I didn't mean to let the guy go in there, but uh, if he doesn't get out, there was a monster more a eel. I tried to get him on camera, but just couldn't. Yeah, fishing with this bamboo rod, I'm actually thoroughly impressed with it. It's kind of fun. Um, it's pretty cool and it's easy. It's nice and simple. And how I am using it is it's just the new bamboo rod and then it's hooked up that old line and secured with a rubber band. So it has been pretty cool going from hand line, low pound test, going all the way up to a yo-yo, now to an actual fishing pole. So I'm pretty excited and it's been pretty awesome kind of climbing the ranks, you know. There's another little mackerel. Maybe the bamboo rod only catches mackerel, I'm not too sure. I have been using the other two lines as well, that bit of styrofoam I threw in when the yo-yo got snagged. And I broke off on the yo-yo, didn't want to deal with it, so switched over to this. Now there's another painted comber. I love those fish, they're so beautiful. And 
yeah, it's starting to go down, but let's see if I can catch a few more. And I have no idea what this is. It, I don't know, if you guys know, please let me know. It, it was a cool little fish, it had the spots on them. Very camouflage, had showed off my girlfriend on the other side of the beach, she doesn't care, she's a vegan. But, yeah, as you can see here, I hooked up the yo-yo again, and I caught a Mediterranean eel. I was not a fan of this, it felt really bad, it was very difficult taking the hook out of them. Um, yeah, it was just bad deal all around, but I finally, as you can see here, got the hook out of them. Let them go.